Favorite cosplay. My most favorite cosplay is Garnetilla Lysandra, 17 from Final Fantasy IX. This character is actually the reason why I started cosplaying. She's my biggest inspiration. I worked so much in this costume. It my longest one, the hardest one, and the biggest one cosplay costume. But I also love all of them. I love all my kids. I can't I can't pick favorite. But Garnet is obviously favorite. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Sara and I am a cosplayer. Today I'm gonna answer some questions from this cosplay tag. I found it just on Google search <laughs> and I think that this cosplay tag was popular on Instagram some time ago, but I will use it for my YouTube channel. It was started by Kikaria Kikaria. Leave a like under this video so you won't forget to do it later. And please write down some more questions down below in the comment section. I hope this video will help you to know me better. If you like it, my other videos with other cosplay costumes or my shorts related to cosplay, this will be a perfect opportunity to introduce myself for you and you will know me better. Second question, least favorite cosplay. As I said, I actually love them all. <laughs> Maybe like the least favorite cosplay? Hmm. I think Charlie from has been hot on my least favorite character and not because I don't like Charlie, it's just because I think that I would do it better. I should do my makeup better and my hair better and I should probably wear it as some kind of convention and stuff. <laughs> But aside this cartoon, has been Huddle haven't been even announced as a full TV series yet. I really felt like her design may change and it actually did. <laughs> and maybe I would cosplay her better next time when has been Huddle will launch and then I will make video like before and after remaking my cosplay costume. Yeah. Make or buy? The third question. I choose both. <laughs> When I just started cosplaying, I thought that the only one legit way to make your cosplay costumes to consider yourself as a cosplayer is to make it by yourself. But right now, I'm so happy that cosplay industry grown up that big that there is really very easy, quick and cheap way to just to buy it on the internet. Because making costume is really very tough and hard skill, which is oppositely different thing to wearing cosplay, you know? like making costumes and wearing costume it's just like a two completely different opposite things <laughs> and sometimes a lot of people just feeling like wearing costumes but not making them and nowadays i am completely totally okay with buying costumes instead of making them wearing costumes is more important skill than making them in cosplaying favorite part of cosplaying i love all of them <laughs> I think that my most favorite thing in cosplaying is when you are wearing your costume at the convention and your costume makes not only you happy, but other people's happy too. <laughs> and I'm not even talking about popular characters, when you're cosplaying someone popular and you have a lot of fan on the convention. <laughs> no, even when I'm cosplaying someone not that popular, Garnet Alexandros, for example, no one know who she <laughs> when i'm cosplaying her and i'm getting recognized i think that i'm earning like even more pleasure that's my most favorite thing what order do you do your makeup in well, I can explain you. First of all, I'm putting on my contact lenses because I'm not that good professional contact lenses very, very, very... I'm not that good in wearing contact lenses and it's hard for me to put on them without ruining the makeup. Then I'm applying a foundation and I really can't understand those people who making their eye first and then doing their foundation. I really like... what. It's those kind of people who are actually drawing eyes first and then the wall face, then the face and then the eyes. I just can't understand those people. Well, okay, I can understand those people, but when I follow the Kleiner Pixel makeup tutorial, I struggle with this part. So it goes like lenses, foundation, eye makeup, contouring, blushing, highlighting, and I'm doing my lips and fake eyelashes even after I put it my wig on. Most comfortable cosplay. Alex from Minecraft. And a video about her I made like just like before this one. <laughs> Most uncomfortable cosplay to be because her heels, because I'm wearing fake chest, which is very, very happy. 
thing actually and because of your hair and mask best memory while in cosplay <laughs> best memory for me are always dedicated to other people when I went to the Igramir 2019, I met my friend there, which I absolutely didn't expect it. <laughs> I cosplayed as 2B and he was actually a cosplayer of 9S and he was the reason why I was inspired to cosplay to be one of the reasons. And next day of this convention, we were those cosplays together. He was 9S, I was 2B and it was so, so fun. I was so happy. Even though her costume is completely uncomfortable. <laughs> Dream cosplay. Oh, I want to cosplay Ariana Grande someday. <laughs> Glinda by Ariana Grande. I already cosplayed Ariana Grande from God is a Woman fragrance commercial since I'm her like the biggest fan of her. <laughs> and I never cosplayed those big dresses before. So I really want to try it. <laughs> and combine this cosplay, my love to Ariana Grande, my willing to cosplay some cute, pretty, amazing ball gown, and my love to pink color and my love to witch culture, yes. Someone you'd never cosplay. Well, I think I would never cosplay... I would never cosplay someone from Atlas game series. Because <laughs> I hate it. Not because those games are bad. I just don't love this franchise, like whole complete franchise. I had a big heavy trauma. First cosplay, my very first cosplay is actually Sailor Moon <laughs> from Sailor Moon. But I never showed this cosplay costume because it was really, really bad. <laughs> but I really do love Sailor Moon and someday I will make her cosplay again. And I will show you my first cosplay too. Most recent cosplay. My most recent cosplay is again Alex from Minecraft. And actually, right now I'm cosplaying Snigurichka <laughs> from Russian folklore. I'm working as kids entertainer and I'm wearing her cosplay a lot. So, yeah. Is this considering this cosplay? I think it is. Full cosplay or cost test? I don't know why we should choose. I I choose both. I love all of this. But actually it looks like I'm always trying to make full cosplay. Quick, easy, not that professional one, but kind of complete look. But I am absolutely totally okay with cost tests. Selfie or should? Because of modern technologies with these amazing cameras and stuff, we can totally allow ourselves to make just simply iPhone photos. But in my head, if I hadn't like a complete big photo shoot with a professional photographer for my cosplay costume, it feels like it unfinished, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even on phone, but I still want to have some kind of couple photos of it. With friends or solvers, friends of course. If if you have an opportunity to cosplay with someone, please do it. You will achieve much more pleasure when you cosplay with someone than cosplaying alone. Cute or mature characters? It looks like I'm cosplaying mature characters more, but I really want to cosplay cute characters too as well. <laughs> I'm gonna cosplay more of them. I want to cosplay all those cute schoolgirls from IMS until my 40s. <laughs> How many cosplays have you done? I think like 30 dedicated to my portfolio. <laughs> yeah, it's look like 30. Pretty good, eh? How long have you been cosplaying? I'm cosplaying since 2015. It's been 9 years. Almost 9 years. How many conventions have you been to? Not that much for 9 years. <laughs> I, I, I will try to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, then we have a COVID, <laughs> and then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19! <gasps> My next convention will be 5th January 2024, and this will be my 20 convention, I think, if I haven't messed it up. Form fitting or flowing garments. It looks like I'm inspiring more with the form-fitting garments. Colored contacts or natural eye color editing? Oh, natural color and editing. You know, I'm actually 
the lucky one girl because i have pretty bright and beautiful light blue eyes which looks extremely really very good even if my character has dark eyes i still can use my natural eyes and i'm actually love how it looks it makes the total cosplay look like a little bit different and especially since i'm not wearing glasses and i don't need contact lenses it's really very money consuming thing to buy all those lenses and change them every time what do you mean you can wear lenses like only for one year way but if your character have some kind of strange and really very important effect on your hair eyes like makima for example of course you should have them why do you start cosplaying i started cosplaying because i really wanted to became like Garnet Alexandrus from Final Fantasy IX and when I started working on her cosplay I realized that cosplay is the biggest thing which combines everything that I love hand paint, acting and performing and geek culture, popular modern culture Perfectionist or willing to sacrifice accuracy? Of course, sacrifice accuracy <laughs> Second one, <laughs> to hell, perfectionism. It's really very good thing to wanting to make everything perfect, but if this stopping you make something, it is a bad thing. A made thing better than the perfect one thing. Embarrassing cosplay moments. My most embarrassing cosplay moments was when I wore my very first cosplay at my very first convention as a cosplayer. It was Lapis Loudly, she was my first cosplay character for the conventions. And I remember this thrilling feeling of embarrassment when I put it on my makeup at the basement of the convention. There was a toilet and I was there, put it on for like two hours and I did absolutely awful makeup for my eyes and I had my wig really very messy. I felt myself so damn uncomfortable. I still can't feel this feeling. I thought that all people's looking at me and they are hating me. But there was actually a lot of people who recognized me and said that I looked good. Well, I hope that it was that it, <laughs> because I didn't feel myself as it is. Our canon. canon. Canonical cosplay, I prefer more. Because it's really very important for me to make something 2D in 3D. <laughs> to make something that well known and popular not real real but of course if you have like a really very favorite character as i am <laughs> it's really very interesting and refreshing to cosplay them in different kind of outfits dream photo shoot i'm dreaming of making photo shoot of garnet alexandris with my friends from america Someday I will go there and we will have an amazing photo shoot in the place that looked like Alexandria Castle. <laughs> I don't even know when I will have a, an opportunity to do it, but I will do it. Someday it will be. <laughs> How do you choose who you're going to cosplay? Love from the first time? <laughs> yeah, you're looking at a character and you're starting to feel this feeling. Sometimes I just want to make cosplay dedicated to some popular fandoms, which is popular right now. Just because I really love it. Secret cosplay or tell everyone immediately? I prefer secrets more. <laughs> Especially when we're coming back to the previous question. Your feeling to cosplay someone is way too fresh and intensive at first but then you're thinking like do i really need to cosplay <laughs> so i really prefer surprises more surprises even for myself character you worn the most and the last one, favorite prop you've made. Virtus Contract and Virtus 3D. I worked a lot on them and they turned out really very good. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Do you want to watch a video dedicated to my to be cosplay? I actually haven't even made not a single one to be video on this channel. But this is like my biggest cosplay. I'm going to do this next year. So please subscribe to this channel so you won't miss it. Thank you to watching this video.